Take the pain out of setting up Google Analytics on your website with the help of Monster Insights. Just install the plugin, check a few boxes and start seeing actionable insights right inside your WordPress dashboard. Check out Monster Insights from the link in the description or scan this QR code on the screen. Updating content on your website can be a huge challenge. For example, you might be running an affiliate blog with thousands of posts and one day Amazon decides to rename itself to Nile. Or you might have your own website rebranding and you might change the brand name and you have 500 blog posts on your website mentioning that specific brand. Or another brand that you regularly mention on your website changes and you have to make a lot of changes on your website, finding every single place where the name is mentioned and replace it. It can be a nightmare, but it doesn't have to be if you watch this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best and the fastest fastest way to update the content on your website by basically finding and replacing how you do it in a regular document. You can do that on WordPress as well. How? Let's watch the video. So I'm here on my WordPress website and this is just a test uh, website that I've made. So I've just made two example blog posts on the site. This is the first one and you can see if you follow along, you'll see some Amazon links. So I've just tried to replicate how a regular affiliate website would create content. So a lot of mention of Amazon here. That's what I'm taking an example, but this uh, entire process can work for literally anything. And I have another blog post here and you can see it also has similar ideas with terms of Amazon links. And I have added some links as well. And I've also left a dummy comment which mentions Amazon. So just to give you an idea that this can work literally anywhere on the site, inside comments, inside links, and even in regular text. So how did this work? Uh, very easy. You just have to install a free plugin on your website. And I'm going to tell you the name of the plugin right now. Let's go to the plugin section. Go to add a new plugin. We'll install a new plugin on our site. Just go to the search option and type this in. Search and replace everything by WP code. Paste the entire thing. I'm going to place it on the screen as well, what you have to search for. And search and replace everything by WP Code. Once you do it, you'll see this new plugin. This is a brand new plugin by WP Code. By the way, WP Code is a very popular plugin. It has millions of installs. This is just a new addition to that plugin. That's why you might see that, hey, it has very little installs. But no, this is backed by a very strong and, uh, I'd say, uh, reliable team of uh, product creators and this is backed by i say the trust of wp code as well so even though it's a new plugin you don't have to worry about this so let's install now and it'll take a few seconds to install once this is done let's activate the plugin and now you have the plugin installed now if you go to the dashboard you might not find the plugin uh, in the menu entry here because it hides itself in the tools section. So if you want to go back, then you can go to tools and then WP search and replace, or you can go to the plugin section and go to search and replace here. Now, what this plugin does is basically search and replace how you can do it in any document, basically. You find a specific keyword and then replace it. Now, I'm going to explain the basics here, but let me, let me switch it here. So when you do a search and replace, the things you have to consider is what are you going to replace? For example, if you want to replace the word cat, it might also replace the word categories. So very or pay, pay close attention to what you are adding in the search and replace fields because it might mess up your site. And I'd highly recommend that you back up your website first with a plugin like Duplicator. It's a fantastic plugin. You can back up your entire site. So even if anything goes wrong, you can always actually just revert your website. And by the way, this plugin is absolutely free. But for example, if you want to go back a couple of steps and see the history of updates that you've done on the site, you can upgrade to the pro version, which includes the history feature. So search and replace history pro is a pro feature of the plugin. So if you want that feature to be present on the site, you want to go roll back or go back and see changes, then you can do it. Otherwise, even though the free version of the plugin, it does allow you to see a preview first before committing your changes. So it's absolutely easy. So going back to the screen here, what we are going to search for, we're going to run an example where we will assume that Amazon is renaming itself to Nile, as I said in the intro. So let's do Amazon and Nile. Now, as I said, uh, make sure that uh, the word that you're replacing uh, is not part of another word. For example, Amazonian can be part of, uh, part of Amazon as well. So I say Amazon can be part of the word Amazonian. So if you are men mentioning Amazonian, this will replace that as well. So make those considerations before committing your changes. Now, you can make it case insensitive, which is all right. So in this case, I will make it case insensitive, but usually uh, you will have to make a judgment call whether you want it to be case insensitive or case sensitive. By default, this is case sensitive. Now, next comes the more important thing to consider. Now, technically, you will see a oh, lot of flip plugin or I say tables here inside WordPress. Now, if you don't know what these are, if you're not technically inclined and you want to replace everything everywhere, Ideally, you should be checking all these automatically. 
Now, just to clarify, if I have to explain to you what these are, these are basically where the data from a website is stored inside the database. And these tables are where specific data is stored for specific, I'd say, specific areas from your website. So comments meta stores data about comments and the comments table saves the actual comments. The links store the links and the options store the options data. Most importantly, you have to be concerned with where are the data for the posts. So the post data will contain all the actual content from the post and the post meta will contain metadata from the post. So ideally what you should be doing if you want to replace all the content every single place on your site, you should be checking every single box here. So do this and keep checking all the simple or I say all the check boxes so that anywhere anything is mentioned, for example, if you might have mentioned the word in a category, in a tag, in a comment. So if you include all of this everywhere, this will be replaced. Now, if you're technically uh, say inclined, you might choose which of these tables you want to select, but I'd leave that up to you. As a beginner, if you want to replace everything, just select every single table. Now, even though you select these tables, you still have one more step before the actual changes happen. So even if you click this button, it does say preview search and replace. So if you click this button, it'll give you a preview. It'll find all these uh, places where it finds the content and it'll give you a visual preview of where it will change it. So you can see uh, inside the comments field, it's finding a comment that uh, the comment was Amazon is a great website. And it says after it will be changed to this and it'll be highlighted in front of you so that you can actually see and just scroll through and figure out hey this is a place that maybe uh, i'm making a mistake i don't want to do this so you can refine the search and replace terms accordingly so if i just keep scrolling you'll see links here different links here and again one thing i see is that these images are coming from amazon.com and this will also be changed the url of the images will also be changed so this is something you have to consider before making or committing the changes if the website is changing the domains then this will be fine but i'm just highlighting the differences that something you have to keep in mind before you commit those changes and i would say if you are concerned about this you can upgrade to the pro version have history feature or just back up your website with duplicator and then even if you make a mistake you can always go back quickly and no permanent damage will be done on your site so and even though i say uh, i use the term damage technically there's no damage a couple of words might be changed here and there and a backup is all you need so once you go through this once you're happy that you made the right call just click replace all I'll give you the option or one more final, I say, uh, confirmation step that this will perform the search replace on selected tables. Please sure, make sure that you have a backup of your database, which I am also recommending. So it's absolutely critical to have a database or I say backup of the database every single time. Click yes. And it takes a few seconds. It's very performance optimized. So even though you have a, let's say you have a huge website, this will be done very quickly. No extra load on the website. Right. So once this is done, if you have the pro version, you can go to the history and undo. Otherwise, you can just close this and I'll just go to the actual blog post and I'll just refresh them because otherwise it won't reflect the changes. Let me refresh those, both of them. And OK, I think the URL of this also changed. That's one thing you have to consider. So again, I also made a mistake here in terms of not uh, making or paying attention that the URL will also change. So I'll go back in the back end and show you the actual blog post. The second one, this is the first one. Right. So you can see here anywhere I mentioned Amazon. Now it says Nile site. So it says Nile, Nile and Nile, Nile everywhere. It mentions Nile. Now, if I go back, if I go to the post section and inside, this is the first blog post. So again, the URL changed because I'm pretty sure that it has the word Amazon in the URL. That's why the 404 error. Now, by the way, if you have, if you run into the same situation on your website where your URLs also have the same words, you can use all-in-one SEO. It has a fantastic feature, which you can use to see all the 404 errors and then also change them. And all these issues will be fixed on your website. So that's a great solution in case you have to do this for, uh, for I'd say, content application where you have a lot of uh, links on the site also having these, uh, or I'd say, the words that you are trying to replace. So going back to the site, now coming here, you can see here, again, all the references of Amazon inside the links as well. So inside the links also, they have changed. And if I click on this, one thing you will uh, notice is the actual links. Uh, for example, this was a link to amazon.com, just the basic website. Now, if I click the link, the actual landing page or actual website that or let's say the anchor text, not the anchor text, but the actual URL that the link pointed to is also now nile.com because the uh, word changed from inside the link 
from Amazon to Nile. Now I don't know if Nile.com is an actual website, but just to give you an idea that inside the link also, these all changes were made. So for example, this link was to an Amazon specific page uh, using a complete, I'd say full in-depth URL. I'll try to highlight that on the screen as well. So that is now, now also reflected. So everywhere you see in just a few clicks, my entire website, every reference to Amazon has now changed to Nile. And also, in the comments as well. So if it's mentioned in the comments, that will also be changed. Now, obviously you can control this with the tables that you select. For example, the links table is one table, the comments table is one table. So if you wanna just change, let's say the data on inside the post, you do have the option to do that as well. But this is a powerful feature. And this would have taken me, I'd say half an hour of work to go through every single, uh, I'd say link in blog post. And imagine having hundreds or I'd say 500 blog posts on a site, you do this manually and how many errors you might make and miss out, I say, updating some of the links. So this is one of the fastest, or I say the fastest way to update the content on a website. So go check this uh, plugin out, uh, share your feedback in the comments as well. The link of the plugin will be in the description and also in the pinned comment of this video. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, uh, do all that good stuff, subscribe to the channel for more WordPress education. My name is Yuvraj, uh, you're watching W Beginner. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Take care.